Hey everyone, my name is Nicole Soper with Dr. Kumo, and today we have Dr. Namat here with us. Welcome back, Dr. Namat. I know last you. time you were here, we had a long discussion about remote patient monitoring for patients and providers, and today we'll see what other unique settings um, RPM is applicable for. I know you have a diverse background in education and research. Do you see any other clinical pot potentials for RPM? Um, actually, I do, Nicole. Um, since you brought it up, um, I think um, and I do believe actually that uh, this would have a lot of applications in clinical research. And by clinical research, I mean specifically in the clinical trials. So I'm not too familiar with clinical trials. How does that usually work and how would RPM benefit a clinical trial? Let me explain it uh, to you, if, if I may. Um, it is um, uh, every, every time we have a new medication that comes to the market, it's gone through many years of research. So the research includes the production and the development. And uh, then after the medicine is developed, it needs to go through phases of clinical trials so it could be presented to the FDA for the approval. Um, uh, the human um, participants in the clinical studies, um, all through the different phases that they have to go through, they need to be monitored. And uh, this is pretty much um, on the spot, around the clock monitoring in real time. Mm -hmm. um, that is all these, uh, humans could be monitored and uh, followed through. Right, so in clinical trials, the patients would need to, like before remote patient monitoring, mm. they would need to be in a site where they could be monitored, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So, so, so there, yeah. there are different uh, protocols and different types, but all those protocols include a lot of paper and uh, at different phase of the study, a lot of times in the mornings and the evenings, the patient's vital signs needs to be monitored. They're, they look, go through the stats for them and they document everything. And then if numbers are not going um, in the way that they are desired, they need to be reported or they need to look into whether it's a side effect of the medication that the patient, the person is receiving or so forth and so on. So this pretty much uh, provides real time uh, monitoring for them and probably one of the best solutions. Um, so nothing could be missed. Right, yeah, them. and it'll be very accurate. And you know, it's better for the patients because then they could probably go home. They don't have to be stuck in this office or clinical trial um, all day or for multiple days. And then all of that data will be sent straight to the... Exactly. And then later on, if they need to go back to this, uh, and uh, they, they could be all recorded, the data is available. So if they need to analyze any of the stats, they have immediate access to it. Uh, which would be a huge resource when it comes to analyzing that. Yeah, that's great. Well, you know, you heard it here first with Dr. Nimat and myself that remote patient monitoring is not only revolutionary for clinics and patients, but also for clinical trials. So really excited to see what happens with that. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. My name is Nicole Soper with Dr. Kumo. Thanks so much for watching.